Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have more of what you need, not what you want. Right? Does that make sense? Makes a lot of sense in the world. Anyway, I've already made all the changes that we're going to make to the team here. Um, Hananin's Hananin is restored to the starting lineup. Um, Gronholm takes a seat. Threw in a Rins because he's a little worse for wear, so we're just gonna say the hell with it. Ramasaho, of course, is still on the bench. Bachman is thrown back into where he needs to be, back in our uh, the heart of our central defense there. And Harala is back in as well. What we may do later, if we have the chance and nothing goes wrong, the plan is to um, replace Wusu, give him a rest, and move Bachman up to the defensive midfielder's position and throw in Suicide, give him a little bit more time and they're hopefully giving you know, 20 minutes or so um like i said i'm trying to acclimate players to the team a little bit different i've never been really good at that i usually just toss them all out there and like fucking deal with it but you know like i said uh with my recent results on another team i was like yeah, maybe i should you know actually try to work this out so just you know going balls in and just you know letting shit happen but anyhow um yeah all right um <laughs> all right they're just gonna go with that how's that sound we are apparently um huge underdogs away from home here um, I am shooting for a mid-table finish, which is exactly where we're sitting now. We're like in sixth or something like that, fifth or sixth. Um, that's kind of where I'm shooting for in terms of finishing this season. Um, uh, that is probably, I'm not going to say overly ambitious. I think we can easily do that, but. The problem is, there's a lot of, um, the, the key to getting there is actually handling the team talks correctly. I mean, if we continue to play out our best in every game, I think we'll get there easy. And, and we won't have any is any issues, but, um, you know, we won't have any giant dips in form where we'll be struggling to win a game, but, um... Yeah, so that's going to be all, all on me trying to figure that shit out for the whole rest of the season. Um, oh, Jesus. Rins, way to make the fucking save, because that was a goal. That was a goal. Um, what is going to have to happen? Oh, fuck. That was in. Jesus. Hit the post. Not a good opening uh, 20 minutes here to the match, is it? Mm-mm. Oh, Jesus, what a fucking... Wow. Jesus, that was fucking terrible. And there's no curvature to that at all. Hey, look at that. We have the ball. Which I'm sure we'll promptly turn it over here. But anyhow, um... I had something to say that was going to be very, very prevalent. It's going to make a lot of sense. But it escapes me now. Cause I get I get distracted and I start fucking paying attention to the game and oh, Jesus offsides so much offsides that is one thing that kind of irritates me about this formation just worse offsides a lot a lot just a lot yeah don't don't there we go we gotta look at Haglund look at that leading the charge beautiful and this smart. Goal, Oyala. Thank you very much. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Can I say it again? Look at that. All right, piece of shit. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, can we hold on to it, kids? That's the question. That is the question. Like I said, we've been pretty lucky with a lot of the opposition shots. I don't know if it's just our defense and and, and our formation. But a lot of a lot of the shots have just been off target. I mean, way the fuck off target. Like I said, I mean, with my when when this team gets better, we're gonna limit the amount of shots. Period. So I don't know 
I haven't really used this formation much with you know with a moderately talented team like this, and maybe that's 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 what this formation does. It allows will allow some shots, just not very many on target ones. So I mean, just saying. And that's, that's that is something too. Like when this formation, when, when this everything works out right. It, it feels very comfortable. I mean, and, and oh, Jesus. Oh, my. You know, when uh, when when I was playing in the uh, Champions League uh, just last night, actually, uh, we, my Go United squad traveled to uh, Old Trafford to take on Man United. And we beat them 2 nothing. And quite honestly, it was comfortable. I mean, usually those matches, I'm biting my fucking nails. I mean, seriously, I'm just n not really nervous, just, you know, on edge. Just one of those things where, you know, they possess so much talent, they just... They, never, they had some chances to score, sure, but... Oof. Oof. They had some chances to score, but, I mean, just, it never felt like... Kind of like the last game, where, I mean, it never really felt like the, the, the uh, result was in doubt. I mean, it felt like once we get that one goal lead, I mean, everything felt very comfortable. Kind of like that right there. I mean, it's that, those are the shots we're going to have to deal with. Of course, they did finally put one on target a few few minutes ago. But it, it's just one of those things where it just it feels comfy. And I kind of like that. It feels secure. It feels, feels safe. I mean, even when we're not scoring a lot, like I said. Oh, my. And, and, of course, you know, there are going to be opportunities like this right there. Jesus. It's just simplicity. Simple passes. Yep, to nothing. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. Of course, we should dial it back a little bit with the fouls. I don't like the six fouls. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and do that now. And I just have this feeling that in the second half that'll balloon to like 16 and shit. So, anyway, it is what it is. We got a two-goal lead. I did work on uh prior to this game. I did work on our um attacking movement so we should have should have a little bit better a little bit better uh offensive firepower going into this as we've already seen and, oh my god just long range just going balls out on that one so anyway like i said i mean it's it feels like this formation just feels i mean even with you know we're, we're playing against competition that is <sighs> not inferior to our our talent level i mean quite honestly i mean this these are teams that you know there's a lot of parity in this league to begin with i mean honestly there's there's some that are clearly head and shoulders above us i believe ifk marino is probably a little bit better than than, than we are talent wise but you know, we've been able to knock them off fc enter i'm sure is better even, even though they're losing right now look at that that's an interesting scoreline right there we're looking at but um you know, and, and with FC Lati, I mean, those are those are the better teams in this Finnish Premier Division. So, I mean, it... Um, but yeah, I'm just going to... So, oh, fuck, that's not good. Here comes a two-goal comeback. But, I mean, like I said, it's just... It just feels comfortable. I kind of like that. You know, I'm very happy with the way things have gone. And since I've kind of tinkered with and... I mean, I don't know what I can really improve on with this formation, which will be which will be interesting to see when teams kind of figure out ways to slow us down and and stop us. Ooh, there was some nice attacking movement there too. He needed to move into the hole there, Oyala. He needed a he needed a drop. Yeah, he needed to drop into that way sooner. Yeah, right. Like he is right now. That's he's off. So oh, is he onside? He is onside. He is onside. It's interesting to see. Like, hey, you have those chances like that. Those kind of half chances, and um, you don't make them pay. Sometimes, like that, can really be the determining factor in this in these matchups. Because you know, you don't make that happen. You don't put them down three goals, and then they'll literally you know come down here on this highlight right here and score. Though that was way too close to the goalkeeper for Savage to get to, but you know we still have a corner to defend. But I mean, it's just 
It's just interesting. And I can't wait. Quite honestly, God, I cannot wait to get a better goalkeeper. Just That's going to be so nice. We do have two players. I think I've... Pretty sure I've already like this is a long time ago. We still, still, we do have two players on their way in. I'll have to go check the dates, but I believe it's, if not the end of this season, the end of next season. A couple of African players, um, coming in. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but this is something that's super fucking cool that I did not know until recently. Countries in this game can actually attain EU citizenship. Can, can actually attain, uh, you know, yeah, citizenship within the European Union. That is fucking awesome. I mean, even countries that aren't considered in the EU now, when, when the game starts in 2013 or 2014, whatever it is, I don't remember what the date actually is, but throughout the course of the game, they can actually attain it. It's awesome. I think that's so fucking cool. I love shit like that. That's also why it kind of irritates me that like, youth ratings don't change in the game, I mean, you know, but those are things that can change, like, the football and culture can get better and can produce better players. Supposedly that's happening here in America right now, I don't, I don't fucking believe that shit for one second. Because Americans suck at soccer regardless of how you spend it. That's all there is to it. But anyhow, um, so, that's that's pretty much all I've got to say on that subject. I don't know where what to tie that into. Where to go from there? Oh, you should another corner. Yeah. So we get we're approaching the 60-minute mark here, and which is usually when I like to make my substitutions, but um. Considering how things are going right now, although we do have a two-goal lead, I think I'll wait till 70 minutes and then and then throw on Suisi and, and see how that goes. Um, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just just cause I mean, defending pretty well right now. I mean, it's and it is still a two-goal lead. We'll see if we're still up two goals. Oh shit! Of course I fucking say that, and then here they are scoring. So. It's our first goal we've given up in seven games. It's good shit. It's good shit. Though it is pretty obvious what we're going to have to work on here going into the next game. Most likely defending set pieces. Jesus Christ. Let's spend ten minutes on the ball and not figure out what to fucking do with it. That sounds like a good idea. It's going to be Romali that's coming off. We're about that 70 minute mark now. Yeah, this second half has been all them. So, um. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how Arenz didn't get to that. He's a big boy. He should be winning any header that comes his way over there. See, Jesus. Alright. We are gonna put, um. We have right. Yeah, we do have Rice then on bench as well. So he's going to come in. I'm going to take a loose walk because he's a bit tired. He's a bit tuckered out over there. So we're going to do that. We're going to take Suisi and put him out there. I was going to take Bachman off, but... Or, yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll shut up. We'll, we'll go with Romali because of the rating. And yeah, fucking Roman. Whatever. Fucking whatever. Rah, 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 rah. Angry. Um, should I do it? Or should I? Fuck it. We'll do it. I don't care. We'll do it. If we hold on to this, that'll be nice. I don't think we will. I think this is going to go their way here. Oh, what a header that was. Nice, 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 nice. Kind of held my breath there for a second. That was beautiful stuff there. Beautiful shit. Just beautiful shit. I guess. Wait, actually... Cancel pending changes. All right, we are going to do this. I was going to take Osei off because he's not playing so hot. But since he just scored a goal, I'll give him the... I'll, I'll reward him a little bit here. But we do have to get Ousu off here soon. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to change shit around a little bit. 
make all three of our changes and hopefully in the next 15 minutes nothing catastrophic will happen and we'll have to, you know, substitute five fucking players for injuries or some dumb shit. Oh, we actually got it in right then, too, and that's kind of nice. I figured it'd be a little bit later, but... Mm. There we go. Oh, that was a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a weak pass there. That was kind of frightening there for a second. I thought... I thought, just for a second, that that wasn't going to turn out right. Jesus fucking Christ. There you go, Robbie. I'm glad that Robbie's kind of settled in and it's kind of made that that uh, left back spot his own now. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice that he's done. Oh Jesus! Fucking hell! <sighs> Shit. Yep. And that's that. That is. Uh, that is one thing too I've noticed. Uh, quite honestly, you need, you really do need good fullbacks in this game. That is one thing that's. You, oh Jesus, that was a decent pass too. If we all would have kept running there, that's one thing you really need because like they get in, like it's really easy for them to get in, uh, you know, crosses and shit like that. Like if you don't have good wing backs or wing backs, full backs that are going to stop that shit, it's really like you, your defenders are at such a disadvantage. It doesn't matter how good your central defenders are, they're just gonna get fucking eaten up by that sort of shit. You know, and and really, and really, you need it's nothing you can really do because you can't really, you can't. What the fuck was that? You can't really go out and like double team players on the wings because they're gonna outnumber you anyway. So you have to be a good one on one defender, and you really need good one on one defenders. And the fucking problem is though, that even though you do have good one on one defenders, chances are they'll mostly, you know, they'll get a lot of cards and just fucking not even take the right angle on the ball like that. And then, oh my, I thought that was sin. That should have been a goal. With how terrible our fucking wing defenders have been today. God fucking... And that is one thing, too. It's really hard, at least in this game, to get, like... Uh, at least in my opinion. I, I've never had luck with, you know, wide midfielders or any wide players. Oh, my God. Jesus. With any wide players coming back and defending. I mean, it's it's kind of a big thing to have your wide midfielders defend like come back and help defending and help shield the the fullback you know especially if they're attacking fullbacks but i mean it just it just doesn't happen in this game for whatever fucking reason it's goddamn near impossible to get them uh, to drop back and i've tried shit like that too like uh you know when i played them with my 4-3-3 you know it, to get those attacking midfielders up there to drop back and help cover the flanks it's i don't know how to do it on this game i really don't that's also one of the reasons why I've kind of stayed away from that, you know, and that's why I've kind of, um, kind of transitioned to the, to the, you know, striker list formation so that I can just kind of pack midfield and force the play out and on the flanks and have enough bodies to, to not give up any, any, um, not oh Christ, fucking idiot not give up any obvious, you know, or not give up too much room in midfield, you know, to help sort of prevent shit like that. But, I mean, still, like, in this position right here, you know, you have to be able to do that, you know? I mean, you're one-on-one -on -one with, with a wing player. You've got to be able to shut him down. And that's where, that's where a lot of, oh, sweet, what the fuck? Some weird-ass shit there. And that's where a lot of, uh, a lot of the stability in this formation, I think, comes from is when you have good fullbacks to kind of shut those guys down. Like I said, they get a ton of cards, though. They, and, and I think that's a product of them being so isolated that they're going to end up picking up those cards. So that's most likely a place where we'll have to have at least four players, four world-class players. But anyhow, which, of course, <laughs> uh, I say that, and it's fucking hard to do that. I'm gonna be a dick. Yeah, 
real. Yeah, down and pressurized, dude. Seriously, you need to fucking man up. <laughs> you had a two goal lead going into the second half. You can't surrender two goals in the second half. That's all there is to it. Regardless of if you got bailed out by Osei. That's just the way it is. It's the way I look at it anyway. I mean, we had a two goal lead going into the second half. To surrender two goals and then get another and win, great. You got the three points. That's awesome. But as far as I'm concerned, you got bailed out by that third goal. Because you don't fucking deserve it if that's what's going to happen. But anyhow. I mean, especially when, you know, the shot count looks like that. You got bailed out by that third goal. And that's just all there is to it. But anyhow. Um, so, yeah. It, those fullbacks and, and those are going to have... Not have to. But those do come at a premium as well. Just like, like just anyone on that back four. It's so hard to get... So you get to get quality there in this game. So anyhow, now that I've cursed our our fullbacks who had been playing pretty well up until this match, until they decided to just fucking dick around and not defend very well. Anyhow, all right. So that does it for this episode. You made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Bye.